hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i am going to show you how to make kothimbiri vadi that is a maharashtrian traditional fritters that is made of uh, coriander leaves it's really very 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 yummy to eat and uh, in the traditional way you have to knead the chickpea flour uh, with the coriander leaves but honest to say kneading the chickpea flour or gram flour is not so easy it's very boring thing so i have discovered a very easy process for this recipe and it will be so yummy and crispy as the traditional fritters so guys let's see the recipe at first we have to sieve the gram flour i am going to use one and a half cup of gram flour here is one cup it's very necessary to sieve the gram flour to make a lumps free batter so must sieve it so the first one cup is done and now i'm going to add half cup of gram flour again and sieve it as well so guys it's also done now we have to add some spices 1 teaspoon of salt half teaspoon of turmeric powder 1 teaspoon of red chili powder according to taste half teaspoon of cumin seeds 1 teaspoon of carom seeds we have to rub the carom seeds like this in your palms and now 1 teaspoon of garlic paste now we have to mix everything nicely and now it's time to make the dough i mean the batter so we have to add water gradually little by little and make a thick batter with the spoon don't add too much water at a time to maintain the thickness of the batter and you may use a hand whisker for this process like this but spoon is also okay there's no problem with it so now we have to add water little by little and make a thick batter so guys the batter is ready and the consistency should be like this you have to try to make it as thick as possible with your spoon so we have to rest it for about 15 minutes I'm covering the bowl and keeping it aside and in the meantime we have to chop the coriander leaves I have washed them properly it's one bundle of coriander leaves here so now we have to chop them roughly and all of them are done and our batter is also ready so we have to mix the coriander leaves with the batter I'm checking the salt of the batter and adding some more salt according to taste and mixing it nicely again so let's add the coriander leaves into the batter and mix it with the spoon we don't have to use our hand for this process it will be also done with our spoon So I'm mixing it nicely and the batter is ready. Now we have to steam the batter. So you may use a cake tin like this or a small plate like this. I'm using the plate now. At first we have to grease the plate with some oil. It will help us to demold the cake after steaming. So now it's done. Now we have to add the batter into the plate. I'm trying to make the upper surface plain with the spoon and now we have to steam it on the other side the water is boiling as you can see now I'm putting a steaming plate on it and now our mold plate and now we have to cover the plate and steam it for about 20 minutes on medium to high heat so after 20 minutes we have to check it after 20 minutes I'm going to check I am inserting a knife into it and it is almost clear. It means the steaming is perfectly done. So we have to remove the plate and cool it fully down. So we have to wait for some time until it cools down fully. And now it is fully cool. Now we have to demold the cake. You can see that the cake is demolding itself from the plate after cooling down. So now we have to help it with a knife like this. We have to remove the edges like this with the knife 
and now we have to flip the plate on a board or uh, on a big plate like this and it will come out very gently so it's okay now we have to cut it into pieces you can keep the size of the pieces according to your choice there is no problem i'm cutting it this way on length wise and now i'll cut one by one like this so let's cut all of them and all of them are ready now we have to fry them i'm going to shallow fry them you may deep fry there is no problem we need a medium hot oil for this process and the heat should be on medium now we have to add the fritters one by one after adding the fritters we have to wait for some time until the lower side is nicely prominent so that they may not break so i am flipping them and each of our fritters has uh, uh, four sides so we have to fry all the four sides nicely until they are nicely golden red in color we have to keep flipping them like this one by one and all of them are done now we have to remove them from the oil with a strainer so let's take all of them off from the oil and put them on a kitchen paper and in the same process we'll fry the rest of the fritters i'm adding the second batch and here are they after some time so they are nicely crispy and very 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 yummy they are so delicious as a tea time snack or you may enjoy them with your meal also i am showing you the crispiness you can understand how crispy are they see they are so much crispy and they are very 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 yummy so guys try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching hope to meet you in the next video bye bye take care